Welcome to Solar Spotlight, where we invite our manufacturing partners on to pitch their latest and upcoming products. Today, we're here with Jeremy Niles from Generac. Thanks so much, Aaron. I'm here at the Generac headquarters in Waukesha, Wisconsin, and I'm actually standing with what would have been our Solar Power International display had the show gone on. Unfortunately, it didn't, but I'm really happy to be able to uh, share with, with you and uh, with your audience what we would have shown at SBI. And so first up, right behind me, we have a, a brand new product. It's actually kind of low to the ground there. This is the power generator. And this is a, a brand new type of product for the solar industry. Um, it's a DC coupled generator that's designed to connect to power cell and recharge the battery without sun. What this enables and what it unlocks is virtually unlimited energy independence. You can imagine a scenario, it happens all the time. The grid goes down because of extreme weather. You've got gray clouds in the sky, you've got your array covered in snow, who knows what, right? You can't recharge the battery reliably using solar power all the time. So by integrating the power generator, you have virtually unlimited recharging capacity um, and at a really great value too. What this actually frees installers from having to do and, and homeowners from having to decide is the really tough choice to either under or super over invest in batteries, right? If you want to get days of autonomy out of a grid connected battery system, you're talking about a very large investment, you know, multiple batteries, maybe multiple inverters, what have you. This is a way to step away from that difficult decision, that difficult monetary investment and, and install less batteries, but unlock days and days of autonomy. Also important, energy independence is not just just about backup power. It's also about financial independence, right? Prices for grid energy are increasing all the time. They're also a lot more variable than they ever have been. And if it's cheaper for you to make power at home than it is to buy from the grid, this is the way you can do it now. This is a quieter, more efficient, and uh, longer lasting in terms of service interval or you know runtime than, than our standard home standby products. You know, where our standard home, by, home standby generator it has like a 200 hour service interval. This has a 500 hour service interval where our standard unit has like a 3,600 RPM engine speed. This has a 2,300 RPM engine speed where, you know, the standard one uses like 120 a cubic feet of fuel. This one uses like 88, you know, so it's, it's a much more efficient uh, design to really go the distance and, and be running not only when it's there's an outage, but also when, when the grid is up, maybe in cooperation with a like virtual power plant program, you might roll in through, uh, through like our Mbala platform. So really versatile, well-tuned, super advanced unit, making use of all kinds of technologies. Also, when I say quiet, it's like 60 decibels, which is probably quieter than I'm talking right now. It's fairly silent. So again, it's not gonna disturb you at all while it's, it's doing those, those long cycles. Any questions on that product? Yeah, I assume we're just talking regular unleaded fuel that, from the gas station? That, that is what you would assume. But in fact, this is a bi fuel generator that you have, you have your option at either run it on propane or natural gas. So if you have a, a utility connection to a gas line, you can just plug it right in there. Um, if you have a, you know, a container of propane on your property, you can plug it in there. It's also a DC coupled generator, right? Generators by and large, I mean, I think basically as a rule, right? They produce alternating current, right? Because they have a magneto alternator that spins around and uh, you get alternating current out of that. We have a rectifier built in that, you know, converts that to DC. So it plugs right into the inverter. The hardest part of installing a generator, you know, it's not dropping it off the back of the truck onto a slab, right? It's the electrical interconnection, right? You have to find room in the main panel for, for a large electrical source, right? And you have to install the ATS, the automatic transfer switch, you have to do all kinds of stuff. This product sidesteps all that hassle. You just plug it directly into the power cell inverter and that's it. You know, the power cell inverter has that DC combiner. You just land this on one of those um, sets of terminals and, and that's it. That's, that's all the electrical installation. For folks who are looking at installing these, are they going to be using the the same terminals as they would use for you know one of the Generac power cell batteries or PV lines? That is exactly correct. This is a Rebus device, just like our batteries, just like our PV links. And so uh, when it comes time to install, it's a simple two wire connection. I guess you know three wire plus ground, right? So a simple you know plus minus and ground connection to the Rebus terminals in the inverter. So a power cell inverter, right, has a combiner box with four sets of terminals for Rebus devices. You know that's usually like seven to ten kilowatts of PV, maybe 18 to 36 kilowatt hours of battery storage, this will plug into those same terminals. And then as long as you have one set of terminals free, it's, it's again, a plug and play operation, really simple install. Fantastic. And I'd expect most customers have at least one one terminal free. I would expect so. Yeah, you have to have a, a pretty overbuilt system to, uh, to, to take up all those terminals. But now you have something uh, worth plugging in there.
That's so exciting. I mean, that really, that opens up the gateway to folks dealing with kind of long-term emergencies that last multiple days, maybe even weeks. Absolutely. And uh, and speaking of select loads, actually, that's a great segue to the, the next piece here, which is kind of like the, the end of select loads. So this is our, our second generation load management device, Power Manager. If you're familiar with Generac, you're probably familiar with our smart management modules um, or our SMMs, which allow us to do dynamic load management, which enables whole home power, right? We're the whole home power brand. We have the most power, we have the most capacity in our batteries, and we also have the most integrated load management, which enables installers to keep all the loads in the same panel and basically just, you know, play with the power budget in a dynamic, intelligent way to avoid maxing out or overwhelming uh, the, the battery's, you know, natural power performance characteristics. So this is the second generation of that. We call it Power Manager. And this is an example um, load panel right here with the unit installed flush beneath it. We also have uh, an open one right here that's like surface mounted. So you can see how, you know, you have a couple different mounting options, you know, either very, you know, flush and trim or or somewhat more sticking out. Anyway, mm -hmm. simple to install. We know there are a lot of, well, a couple options on the market already for load management. Uh, we have some, you know, very large, honestly, labor and cost intensive smart panels on the market. We also have some products that, you know, bolt onto your existing panel to modify and control some of the circuits in the home. We took a look at those early on. And we're honestly fairly dissatisfied with, with both routes, you know, either because they were off the shelf and unreliable, or again, extremely labor intensive on the install and extremely cost intensive to uh, just to buy. Um, and the electrician time is not cheap either, right? So we knew there was a better way to go and we designed it ourselves. This is a really exciting, I think the first 100% brand new product that we are adding to the PowerCell product lineup. Other stuff that we have in the product line, you know, came from acquisitions um, or, you know, has a lot of IP from acquisitions. You know, obviously the, the power generator borrows a lot from our existing home standby product line. This totally brand new clean sheet design that I think our ID group, our industrial design group, absolutely knocked out of the park. Really gorgeous interior, really clean layout um, and really easy to see what you're doing here. It's got this nice LED display that makes it really clear what's going on inside. And I'll show you this one here, which is open. Mm. And you can see the design in here, you know, very clean layout and it's super easy to access. I mean, every single terminal here, these are all uh, really nice, high quality brass lugs that are connected to our own custom design latching relays that have, they're not just ratchet latching relays, but they also have uh, current transformers built in as well. So for every circuit, and there's there's 12 relays here, for every circuit that you connect here, you get extremely granular insight into that circuit's power characteristics, right? You get to, you know, get a kind of like a high watermark for um, power consumption, you get averages, and then you also get circuit level control over your whole home. So this not only automates your power budget, right? It knows how much power your inverter has available at any given time, and it makes the best use of it according to the priorities you set in the app. But then it also surfaces manual circuit by circuit control for your entire home. So you can just with with a flick of a switch in the app actually get to control those those loads on your own. So this is the app here, and this is really hard to hold two devices at once. But yeah, so this is this is an example of the PowerView app as it will look for a power manager owner. What it lets you do is you get to tap into a load and you get to control just by tapping them off just like that. So that was the dryer right there. Well, not only do you get to control them, but you also get this really granular insight into how much power each load is using in real time. Simultaneously, the power manager is receiving updates from the inverter on how much power capacity it has. So that if loads try to come on, that are of a lower priority than what you currently have running, this will actually prevent those loads from starting up and potentially, you know, browning out the system or, or taking power away from those higher priority loads. And I mean, of course, because of this, right, if you want to change the way things are prioritized, you can do that right from your device in real time at any time. If you, you know, if the system is locking you out of something you want to keep, keep on, you can, you can give priority to that, to that new load pretty cool. All right, moving on down the line here. The next product here that we've just recently announced is the Power Micro. And this is a product that came out of the acquisition. Generac just recently bought up a really incredible startup company based in Los Angeles, uh, Chilicon Power. And they have a line of microinverters that are super high quality, have been um, actually made in the United States for a long time. And what we're doing is taking that same technology, not doing a whole lot to it. We are leaving it as is. It's already pretty excellent, but we are making it ready for scale. So you can see that we've made some changes 
to the, the product itself, um, to the enclosure, to the design of it. Um, and all these changes have been made so we can manufacture this, this unit at a much larger scale than it ever has been and compete for the rooftop solar market. You know, we've, we've been playing naturally in the solar plus storage space, the backup space, since we got into clean energy um, as a company. And we see now that there's a big opportunity to compete for the rest of the market, right? For the rooftop solar market, which is about 70% of the residential market. This is this is how we're gonna do that. Some really cool things about this. We, we plan on making these extremely cost competitive, not only high performance, high quality, but also super cost competitive compared to the leading products on the market. And a couple of ways that we're gonna do that, one of them is just is gonna be really basic um, topology. So you can see this diagram here behind me. Two solar modules going into each unit. These are dual module microinverters. When you get down to it, a lot of the cost of one of these units is locked up in the electronics, is locked up in the enclosure. And so if you can, you know, do a two for one, right? If you can put two modules into, into one micro, you're, you're saving not only a ton of installation labor, right? You're getting to cut time on the roof down in half. You're getting to cut the number of, you know, potential electronic failure points on the roof in half. You're also going to save a ton, right? Because so much, much of that cost is now being distributed across two panels. You don't have to buy two devices, you like to buy one device. So that's going to be a really cost competitive alternative I and mean, competitor to the leading microinverters on the market. Additionally, these have fantastic performance characteristics. Um, this one in particular, this is our uh, CP720 or two to one model. This has a 720 watt power rating, which means that you can put two 360 watt modules right here onto these MC4 connectors and that's it. That's that's a that's a one to one DC to AC ratio, zero clipping in peak sun. Uh, that is how you maximize the investment. That's how you maximize the value of that, uh, of that system um, with, with zero clipping over its lifetime. That's awesome. And these microinverters will satisfy MEC 2017, MEC 2020 in terms of PV rapid shutdown requirements. Absolutely. Any module after cold correction, you know, that does not exceed 60 volts open circuit, right? You can you can just plug in right to these MC4 whips. Larger modules, you know, like 96 cell modules, you know, 70 plus volts open circuit. You might wind up actually doing one of those modules per device here. But in any case, even if you have two modules connected here, this satisfies NEC uh, 690.12 standard out of the box. And it's also important that, that this is not in any way a replacement to PV link, to power zone, to snap RS, to our existing solar solutions. This is a parallel solution. This is a, so this is a way to just do a super cost effective, high performance rooftop solar system that, um, that probably does not involve battery storage. If it does involve battery storage, it's AC coupled, but this is a way to do straight up grid tie vanilla solar at the best cost, the best value. That's, that's what we're aiming for here. Yeah, and with uh, Chilicon IP in there, I, I know that you guys will hit the mark. Um, that's a great product line. So excited to see how you guys are integrating it into the power cell line. Yeah, right on. One additional note on these guys, I think it's, maybe it's worth mentioning, is the way that we do our trunk cabling is kind of unique and I think super cool. So each micro has connector. You can see it's a four prong connector that is also keyed. And so it's impossible to mess this up. You cannot put this in the wrong way. And what this plugs into is a modular trunk cable. So rather than you know having to buy an enormous spool, cut to length, probably waste a few um, you know bulkhead connectors or you know do some wacky you know termination, the risk water intrusion in your trunk cable. We have a modular trunk cable used by one segment per micro, and that's it. It's also self-terminating. The last micro on the branch circuit is the is the terminator for the, for that trunk cable. So you never have to mess around with you know end caps or you know uh, silicon tape. It's easy, and uh, yeah, I think we're going to knock this out of the park next year when it goes in the market. Are you are you ready to talk about timing for these product announcements? Yeah, in in broad terms, for sure. So these micros are going to be available in Q2 of 2022. The Power Manager, our second generation load management device, is going to be available in Q1 of 2022. And the Power Generator here, this will be available Q1 of 2022 as well. Thanks, Jeremy, for being here. Uh, we really appreciate you joining us and telling us more about what, what is in store from Generac. Thank you so much, Kate. It's been a pleasure. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all in person again soon.